good morning students now we are in last topic of chapter 3 that is production of silk clearing silk worm is first topic first step in the production of silk rearing means to take care of the silk sorry of the silk worm the eggs laid by the female silk moths are collected and hatched in an incubator incubator is um, a glass box in which it is collected and it is kept there under hygienic condition and provided with sufficient amount of temperature and humidity for hatching hatching means to come out from the egg the insects come out from the egg then they are made to hatch at the time when the mulberry trees grow new leaves when the mulberry trees have new leaves then only this hatching is done so that they the larva feed on it then the worms are kept on rearing trees and fed on freshly chopped mulberry leaves for about 25 to 30 days they feed on these leaves almost continuously then they move into the tiny chambers of the tree or the provided with twigs or branches to spin cocoons the caterpillar is killed once this stage is completed otherwise a fluid secreted by the adult moth to dissolve the silk damages the fiber after the cocoon is prepared it is kept in boiling water so that the caterpillar inside get killed and then the silk can be taken out from it if it is not done so then the adult moth will come out and it will damage the fiber second step is processing silk the silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon by killing the insect inside it the worms are killed when the cocoons are exposed to the heat of the sun and it can also be done by the boiling water just now i have explained it exposing them to steam or treating them in ovens that means by providing the high temperature the process in which a large number of, of cocoons are boiled to kill the worms is called cooking then the sticky substance of the cocoons dissolves in hot water and the fiber separate out then the method of obtaining the silk fiber from the cocoon is called reeling or filature so reeling is done either manually that means by our hand or by special machine and when the silk fibers are delicately unwound the fibers from 4 to 8 cocoons are joined and twisted to produce silk yarn many mm, fibers is collected from different number of cocoons and then it is twisted and produce a silk yarn and this is raw silk then the soft silk yarn is as strong as a thread of steel of the same thickness so there are different varieties of silk fiber depending on the kind of silk worm producing them and the mulberry silk is the most common variety of silk fiber others are tussar silk munga silk eri silk kosa and other varieties are also there so the quality of silk fiber it depends on the rearing of the silk worm quality of leaves fed and incubation temperature all these and also on the reeling process that is carried out in india many women are employed in rearing silk worm reeling of silk from cocoons and also in silk production industry now the health hazard of the workers in the wool and seri culture industry health hazard means the problems due to working in some industries is known as health hazard the person the workers those who work in wool industry 
they are getting affected by the sorter's disease. They get infected by the bacteria called anthrax, which cause a deadly disease of the blood known as sorter's disease. So the workers, those who work in wool industry. Same as if the workers are working in the sericulture industry, that means in silk industry, then they get affected by respiratory disease known as asthma and bronchitis. And this is due to inhalation of the vapor during cooking, steaming and reeling process. They suffer from headache, body ache, fever, neck pain, low back pain, eye problems and many other health health disorders. This is caused because the workers have to stand for 12 to 16 hours continuously during the reeling process. Sometimes the workers can also be seen different types of skin infection due to constant dipping of the hands in boiling water or exposing them to steam. Noise produced from the spinning and winding machines causing hearing problem also. So these are the health hazard which are caused due to working in the industries, particular type of industry. Activity 3.1 to find which part of plant or animal provides different kinds of fibers and properties of these fibers. Requirements here, fab fabrics made of cotton, jute, silk and wool, chart paper, glue and sketch pens. Make the following table in a chart paper. Stick the fabrics made of the various fibers under the category sample and write the part of the plant or animal which ails the fiber. Kuch fibers ke am logo ko sample lena hai and you have to stick here made this table in a chart paper half chart paper cotton, jute, wool and silk. Sample to, um, column mein uska chota chota sample chip ka hogi. Or third column part which is the fiber from which part the fiber is taken out and what are the properties of the fiber. You have to prepare in half chart paper or you can use bio sheet. So the chapter is completed. Next we will meet after summer vacation.